Hey there everyone and welcome back to my channel. My name is Crystal for those of you who are new here and on this channel I talk about all things fashion, beauty, and lifestyle. So in today's video I have a fashion video for you guys. I'm going to be sharing with you all the things that I have new in my wardrobe um, or that I've accumulated I should say over the past I guess month or so maybe. So I have some things from Misguided and have a just a couple of things from Amazon and also some things from Nordstrom. So yeah if you're interested in seeing what I purchased this keep watching all right so the first thing i'm going to show you guys are the things that i got from misguided if you saw my last misguided haul i told you guys that i loved some of those dresses that i showed you and i end up purchasing some more so yeah it's the the obsession is real when it comes to these dresses so yeah the first thing i have on is just another one of those like sleeper dupe dresses that i showed you guys in my last misguided haul i went and got four more of them because i just love them so much they're super versatile i mean you can wear them on the shoulder you can wear them off the shoulder you know you can have the sleeve kind of roll the sleeve up or you know wear it down i'll show you guys in like a you know side view here or here so that you guys can see the dress but this one here i have on is just like this polka dotted kind of off white color so yeah i saw it on the site and thought it was really nice this the fabric of this one is just a little bit more stiff than the fabric of some of the other ones that i purchased but i love it anyway you know i love polka dots it's kind of like my one of my favorite patterns is polka dots so yeah i love the ruching detail here at the bus i don't know if you can see that but anyway you should should have seen a you know cutaway or a side view of this dress so yeah these dresses are on sale right now i think that's pretty much why i got them is because they're you know pretty affordable and like i said if you can't afford like the sleeper dresses because these are dupes of the sleeper dresses then you of course can try these out and see how you like them so yeah so that's the first one so i got it in this color or this colorway and i also got it in like this kind of pistachio or it's a green color i don't know like pistachio green or i don't know mint green color and yeah i got these all these dresses i got in a us8 by the way and i would say they are true to size so um yeah i love these little dresses love them so yeah i got it in this like pistachio green color and then i also got it in the black um, because you just can't go wrong with black i have these in two other colorways um if i'll link i should put up my last misguided haul but anyway um i got it in a red gingham print and also a black gingham print so i wanted to get it in just like an all black because you just can't go wrong with all black and i think black you can just it's versatile you can wear this like and even in like going into the you know fall time so yeah so I got it in the black and then I also got it in like this pink kind of gingham color I've been loving pink and green this um, summer so yeah I had to pick it up it's more like in a peachy kind of pink color yeah it's like a peachy pink it's not like a baby like a true baby pink I think it's more like a peachy pink at least in real life or up close it looks kind of peachy pink um, and this fabric is a little bit different um, than the other, these other dresses are, th this fabric of the this one, the green one and the black is a little bit more stiff. And this was a little, this is just a little bit different of a fabric, but this is a little bit softer than the um, this one, the black one and the green one. So, but it's very nice and floaty, just some pretty dresses that you can just, like I said, you can, you know, you know, style it up any kind of, you know, any kind of way. Like I said, you can you know ruche the sleeves up or you can wear them down you can wear it off the shoulder you know on the shoulder it's just very cute versatile dresses that you can wear several different ways so so yeah i got those dresses and then the next thing i got um are some shoes and i've been loving like the kind of like um what do you call it like the thick soles flip flops like these platform or platform platform flip flops say that three times fast um, but yeah, I got them in this like white. It's like an off-white. It matches actually matches the color of my dress. So yeah, I got it in a size. It says eight slash forty-one. Eight is I think in the UK size, and forty-one I think is European size. So yeah, and they and they fit my feet pretty well. Um, I wanted. I have some of these like in black I think, and I have some in brown, and so I thought I'd get them also in like the white kind of color colorway so yeah so just some simple flats or some simple flip-flops you know little elevated flip-flops very very much so kind of like that 90s style um, which I'm into like the 90s I grew up in the 90s so 
you know things just have a way of coming back around i should have kept some of the stuff i wore in the 90s because a lot of that stuff has just come back around so um but yeah so got those and then i also got these i love these they were so cute on the website i love like the little crisscross kind of detail i like the braided detail it's very nice and chunky and just really soft and i got it in like in this nude color because i figured this will go with everything that in my wardrobe and these look really big and they are in a they are the same size as the other ones but these for some reason look bigger um they actually are bigger if you compare like a, if i compare the two like they are supposed to be the same size but this shoe is obviously bigger than this one so i don't know how that works and it's also wider so maybe that's why it looks bigger but this this shoe definitely looks big on me because I, I wear a size us 10 or like nine and a half actually i'm in between sizes so they didn't have a in between size so i've ordered size you know sized up so probably should have went with a size nine in these because it is so big on my feet but anyway they're really cute i wore these around the house and they are very chunky you know little flip-flops again with like, kind of like elevated flip-flops because they have like a little detail here so so yeah so i got those from misguided all right so those are all the things that i got from misguided um just check the description box everything that i show you guys today i will link it down in the description box in case you're interested so um the next few items i got um I just, let me just show you what i got from amazon they're just some sunglasses that i saw um thought they were really cute very kind of trendy sunglasses and it looked like this i got them first in like this black and just nice and big and oversized i love like the square kind of detail um, on the frames just really nice and big and oversized and very like bougie-esque if you will um but yeah i like these i like the black ones but i because they came in like a two pack or you can you can get them in like like different packs i guess uh, anyway i'll link them down below they're from amazon and so the ones i was actually got or wanted were these and so I love them. These are so cute and bougie and very trendy. And like I said, I love like this square kind of frame, just really big and oversized and just very, just kind of bougie. Yeah, kind of bougie. I'm sure they're a dupe or, you know, a knockoff for like a designer pair. Um, but I just thought that was really nice just to add to my sunglasses collection because I love sunglasses. I love sunnies. They just really just kind of put an outfit together, I feel like. And so, yeah, I love the frames on these. They're like in a kind of like a clear pinky kind of color. But yeah, I just thought they were cute. They had tons of these on Amazon as far as in different colorways. So I will link these down below as well. Like I said, I got them in a two pack and they were very, you know, very affordable because they're from Amazon. So yeah, so I will link those down below if you're interested in those. Um, all right, so now I'm gonna show you guys the things that I got from Nordstrom. And since we're kind of like, on the sunglass theme here i got some more sunnies from nordstrom and i actually got some ray-bans um i saw these on the nordstrom website and just thought they were really cute and they are again like i said some ray-bans and i have some ray-bans in like an oval and like the oval shape and they're kind of like in the same lens they have like this the, the lenses are kind of similar to this and like a gradient um but i love like i said i've been loving like these square frames i don't know why but I just think they're just really cute and just nice and oversized. And yeah, I love these. Um, so these are like my second pair of, of Ray-Bans that I have now. And yeah, I just think they're really nice. I don't haven't really seen a lot of Ray-Bans in this um, style around. So just wanted to be kind of different and get these. So yeah, so love those. And yeah, my, my obsession with sunglasses is just ridiculous. Like but i love sunglasses so like i said they just, just kind of like put an outfit together um all right so the next things that i got from nordstrom are actually i think they're actually all shoes and so yeah i'm gonna save the best ones for last because i have some designer ones um or some luxury ones too so let me just show you like the nikes because i got some nikes from um uh nordstrom all right so the first pair of shoes i got from nordstrom are some air force ones which i don't own any pair of air force ones whatsoever i know like the black the white ones are really popular like the all white ones and I have enough all white shoes. I didn't want to get like any all white shoes. I wanted to get something kind of colorful. And I think I really hit the hit the nail on the head. Um, or hit the nail on the head. Is that right? Hit the head on the nail. Hit the head on the nail. I don't know. Anyway, y'all. I got these. Super, super bright. 
in colorful Air Force Ones. I saw these. I have been seeing these and eyeing these on the Nordstrom website for a while and didn't know if I wanted to get them because I was like, what will I wear with them? Because I don't wear a lot of color. And so I saw these and thought they were really pretty. I love I love all these colors in in this shoe. Like every color is in that's in this shoe is probably like my favorite. Like the green, if you've been following me, you know that's my favorite. And I love pink. And it has yellow. I love yellow. The yellow looks good on my skin tone. And then this peachy color, which I love peach. You know, I'm a Georgia peach, so gotta love peach. And so I just love the colorway of these Air Forces. And I don't have, like I said, I haven't been seeing you know these worn a lot in. This, that's what made me get them. Typically, when you see something worn a lot, that makes you want to get it, get it. But I'm the type of person that I like to kind of stand out and not be like everybody else. Sometimes, I mean, sometimes I like to get something because I see somebody else has it. But then sometimes I like to get stuff because I haven't seen it and I like it. Um, but anyway, so yeah, so I got these in a size. I think I got them in a nine and a half because typically in Nikes I wear a nine and a half. Let me see. Yeah, I got these in a nine and a half, and these are called the, um, are the they're called the Air Force Shadow or Air Air Force One Shadows, and they are in the colorway Arctic Punch or Barely Vault. Yeah, Barely Vault. Just for reference, but I will link these down below if they are still on the Nordstrom website. So I got these. I think these I got these last um, last month. They came in last month, and I actually haven't even worn these yet. Um, I'm trying to, like I said, I'm. I'm actually debating whether I'm going to keep them because of the fact that there's so many colors on this shoe. So, I don't know. I have a pink dress that I think I'll style with these. And I'll, you know, share that picture on Instagram when I once I get it together. Um, but, I mean, there's so many colors in it. So, it's obviously, you know, obviously I have things I can style with. It's just a matter of me styling it. So, but I love them. They're so cute. My husband loved them too. And you're trying to get into the Air Force Ones because I'm not really into the Air Force Ones, but these are nice. Um, they kind of, they kind of actually kind of fit big because they are a little bit, they are a wide shoe. So I don't know, maybe that's just how Air Force Ones is um, run. So anyway, so those are really cute. And like I said, I have, I have a pink dress in mind that I want to style up with those. So we'll see how that goes. All right, the next pair of shoes I got are also some Nikes and. These I've worn and I actually have these in two other colorways. So I got these. The um, Nike, what are these called? The Blazer Mid 77s. Yeah, I forgot. I have them in two colors. I have them in like the all black with the white check. And then I also have them in like a, I think the color is called Sesame, but it's like a beigey khaki kind of color. So I decided to get them in the all white because I. You know, you can't go wrong. Well, not all white because it has the black check. But I decided to get them in this kind of white color or all white color. Because um, I feel like these are these can be styled up so many different ways as well. I mean, white. You can't go wrong with all white. Um, I was debating whether I wanted to get, the, get these in the all white. And so I went ahead and bit the bullet and got them. And they are really, really nice. And I love these. I love the style. It's very retro, um, as the name suggests. Because they're like the retro... Their retro kind of Nike shoes are kind of just you know really in right now, and I, I mean these are to me are classic. Like I'd wear these ten years from now, I can I would still wear these because they're just that nice. So, but yeah, so I got these, and um, like I said, I got them also I have them in a black and also in the like sesame or khaki color, and they they're very they're very nice comfortable shoe if you're into like high tops. So. Yeah, so got those. All right, and the next two pair I got are actually luxury brand shoes that I got. The first pair I got are from Chloe. Don't know if you can see the box here, but these are from Chloe. And I have been seeing these um, on a lot of bloggers and Instagrammers because, as you know, as you do when you, this is what you do, blog. And I was trying to decide whether or not I wanted to get them. I had been hurting, I've been hearing different things about these shoes. And I actually wanted them in a different colorway. And I don't know, I may actually get them in another colorway. Um, but they are these. These are the Chloe shoes or the Chloe sandals. And I don't know what, what are these called. Um, I don't, can't figure out, I can't see the name of them. But I will link them down below if you're interested. But yeah, just some Chloe sandals. I had wanted these actually in the kind of like cream and black colorway. And I think they were either 
I don't think they had, I don't know if they were in stock or if they just didn't have my size. I'm pretty sure that they have them, these also in the white and the black, which I'm going to see if I can find them because I love them. The first day that I wore them, I wore them date night with my husband and I got compliments on the first, the first day I wore them. So just really nice. I mean, it's, you know, branded. So it's just kind of like, you know, you know, it is what it is with the brand branding and all that. I mean, they're just some flip, they're just some, you know, sandals. So, you know it is what it is but yeah they're really nice and i've been hearing mixed reviews that they're not very comfortable and they're tight as far as here on the toe i have a narrow foot and i will say that they are not uncomfortable when when i wore them and i wore them just you know on date night they they were not digging into my feet um and i have a narrow foot so i feel like if you have a wide foot then they probably will kind of dig here or be uncomfortable here at the toe um, but for me, because I have a narrow foot, they were fine. So, yeah. Um, but they're really nice. They have them in all kind of colorways. I think they have them in like like a pink. Um, like I said, they have them in the white, or like the white with the white and the black. And then they have them, you know, in this black and white. And they have them, I think, in like a peachy color. So I want them in the white and the black, um, or like the cream and black, because I just feel like they'll be more versatile. Um, because shoes like this, they that are kind of luxury and higher end as far as the price you really want to get your wear out of them so but yeah i love those and i think i'm gonna go and get the uh, get them in the other colorway in the white or the cream and black so so got those and then the last pair of shoes i got really excited about these and they are let me show you the box they are from prada via nordstrom so here's the box and I had been wanting some of these and had been debating whether or not I wanted to get them. I had got bought the dupes and the dupes were just not the same. You know how you buy dupes and you're like, eh, you're underwhelmed because you're like, they're not the same. So, um, this is what the, when you open it up, is what it looks like. You can kind of see a peek of them. And here are the shoes. So they're the Prada loafers in the brown. And these are actually um, in a men's, um, these are actually a men's shoe. Um, but of course, you know, you, women can wear them too. You just have to size down. So, um, I love this color. They are so, I love this. Ugh. This is why I love to buy luxury items. Like, I love to buy the affordable stuff, you know, as you can see, if you've been following me. I love affordable, you know, items. I love them. But there's just nothing beats the quality of higher end luxury items nothing i mean look at this shoe i can I, there is no way i would be able to find something affordable with this kind of quality it's just there's just no way i mean these are shoes that i feel like i would wear or i know i would wear in like my 50s and my 60s you know what i mean like that's what's so great about getting luxury items and investing in luxury pieces is the fact that they will last you for years and years and years and years I mean these are quality I mean they even smell quality I mean you can smell the leather it's just so rich and just I don't know I don't I know I'm going on and on about them but I love them I really love these because I the Prada's um, logo here is like in this kind of brown I don't know if you can see that my camera will focus yeah there we go so the Prada logo is in like the brown which I love I love that um the, they also come in like a black which i had been seeing the black you know all like i said all over youtube all over instagram a lot of the bloggers and influencers have them in the black i haven't been seeing them in this in this colorway though and so i thought i would jump on it and get these because i love brown brown to me is like the next step from black like brown is neutral and can go with everything and especially a lot of the neutral outfits and neutral pieces that i have in my wardrobe this will go perfectly so the sizing um like i said this is a men's shoe so you have to obviously when you're going to purchase if you're a woman and you purchase a men's shoe you need to size down at least two which is what i did so i'm typically a nine and a half so in a men's size these are seven and a half now i will say this because i'm really trying to debate whether or not i want to um take send these back and get them in an eight because these are seven and a half they are very stiff as as they should be they're you know genuine italian you know leather and but they're stiff and with any kind of tight you know leather shoe you got to break it in right but i'm trying to debate whether or not i need to size up because they they don't when you have loafers like this you have to get them in a really 
like true to size or else they're just gonna flop off your 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 heel and that's not what I want so they they fit however they are a little uncomfortable here in the toe um, so I'm just I'm trying to debate whether or not I'm gonna send them back and get them in the eight or at least I'm gonna try I think that's what I'm gonna do I'm gonna order them in the size eight in the men's size eight and see if they fit a little bit better because they are a little snug because you know when you spend this much money on some shoes they they need to fit they need to fit just right and so yeah I love them love them like I said I mean they are such quality shoes you just yeah you can't go wrong with quality shoes like just if you're thinking about getting some designer shoes just try them out I'm, I promise you you will not be you will not be disappointed when it comes to buying quality shoes like I said I love my affordable pieces and I love getting affordable you know affordable items and things like that but when it comes to the quality the quality is just yeah you just you just can't beat the quality of designer shoes so but I'm just rambling on and on about them I just I love them I love these shoes I love these shoes so much and I just I hate to have to go and order them in a bigger size because I just want to wear them and see if they will stretch out which I know they will because leather stretches so but um yeah if you want me to do like a review on them like this is my initial you know thoughts on them but if you guys want me to wear them and do like a review on them, just let me know in the comments down below um and also let me know which item was your favorite which one you liked um down in the comments below because i think that's everything that's all the things that i just recently purchased um yeah pretty sure that's everything um but i do have a zara haul coming up just a small little zara haul that i have um coming up so you guys will see that video on sunday that's coming up sunday so stay tuned for that um, but that's it. That's all the things I got. If you have any questions about anything that you saw that I showed you guys, just let me know in the comments. Um, otherwise, you know, if you like the video, don't forget to like and subscribe if you like videos like this. And yeah, that's it. I will see you guys in my next video. All right. Bye, guys.